in arms after a now viral prank at Kings Island opening day. Yeah, this comes after some TikTok users posed as Cincinnati Bengals wide receiver Jamar Chase at the park opening, taking pictures, even signing a jersey. Yeah, this guy wasn't shy. Yeah. Simone Jameson spoke with some social media influencers, be influencers behind the prank, as well as some parents that are not too happy. Yeah, she joins us live with a closer look. Yeah, that's right, you two. 24-year-old Dale Adams and 19-year-old Reese Schmidt are behind the now viral prank. The two tell me they posted a video on TikTok that Jamar Chase would be at Kings Island opening day and then later showed up dressed as him, all for thrills and giggles. An ordeal some tri-state families tell me they find both sad and infuriating. Grayson Dashley is the tri-state 10-year-old who says he is one of the biggest fans of Cincinnati Bengals wide receiver Jamar Chase. He tells us when he saw a TikTok video on Thursday saying the football star was going to be at Kings Island opening day. He knew his family had to be there. It's the way that he plays and how good he is, and he's on my favorite team. To the family's surprise, they saw Jamar Chase at Kings Island on opening day, or so they thought. Grayson took pictures and got his jersey signed. All I see is my husband running with his camera to get a picture. They were like, it's Jamar, it's Jamar. So in the heat of the moment, we were just like, Oh man, we really are seeing him. He is here. You don't sit there to fact check online when you're in in the moment and you could possibly be missing it. But the dream of meeting Jamar Chase in the flesh was short lived. There is a huge crowd of people towards uh, like next to him. We did not think we were going to get that kind of experience. The man Grayson's family thought had signed Grayson's jersey turned out to be this TikTok influencer, Dale Adams. He tells us he's been co-creating prank and parody videos with his 19-year-old friend, Reese Schmidt, for their TikTok channel called Prodigy Sports for the past four years. A while back, we went viral, and everyone had told us that we looked like Jamar Chase when we were rooting for the Bengals during the playoffs. I took that kind of to heart, and we thought it would be funny if we went to Kings Island on opening day and see what people thought and if they thought I looked like Jamar Chase. We're social media creators, so we wanted to go with it. It was a prank, it was a joke. So once everybody started believing it, kids started cheering, we were loving every bit of it. So this is kind of what we do. But I was a little let down because of it. Like everyone was saying he would be there. I was frustrated, I was angry. I was sad for him that, that here he had get, gotten his hopes up. An experience Grayson's mother, Megan Dashley, says made her son afraid to go back to school now demanding an apology and accountability from the TikTok creators responsible for the prank. I want him to know that these, these are little kids. Like you can't play with their emotions. They're going through so much right now in this world that that's just one more thing to add on top of it. If you wanna do a prank, there's, there's a line. And the Dashleys tell me they have since reported the Prodigy Sports TikTok account, but that no response has been taken yet. And the TikTok creators tell me they're working with a nonprofit that is willing to reimburse the Dashleys for any damage to Grayson's jersey. I also reached out to Kings Island staff for a comment, but have not gotten a response just yet. Live at Kings Island, Simone Jameson, Fox 19 Now. Simone, thank you. A teen accused of having a gun at Kings Island is.